Hello, my name is Hudson. I am a sophomore student at Eau Claire University, and I am studying abroad in Japan this semester. This is my little side project to keep track of my, my days. And yeah, hi, this is day four. Today is, uh, today is Tuesday, not Saturday or Sunday. Today is Tuesday. It is about eight o'clock, uh, 11 after eight. And it's a little early normally for me to be going to bed, but I have been kind of doing the same thing all day. It's been a very, very slow, lazy day. I woke up relatively really late. Um, actually, that's not true. I woke up pretty early, um, but I got a late start. Uh, just relaxing in my room and not doing a whole lot. This is going to be a very, very short episode, or at least a very uninteresting one. Um, <clears throat> I hung out in my room a lot after the morning, just kind of waking up and not doing a whole lot. Eventually, when I did actually get up, um, my breakfast consisted of yogurt that I bought previously and uh, some water. Mm-hmm. Nope, some yogurt and some water. That was about it. Uh, I got up and I got up and out of bed at around 11. Not out of bed, but out of my room at around 11. And I walked around downstairs looking for eh, someone to talk to, someone new to meet. And there was a lot of the RAs that were downstairs on the zero floor. So they were all busy. I didn't want to really interrupt them. But... Uh, I went in a second time a little later after I used the restroom. Just to, that's not really all that important information, but it's like that's how like, my time blocked out, I suppose. You know, I need, need to know that. Oh, yeah, look at him. He brushes his food like everyone else. No, that's not the point. That's just blocking out. I don't know why I'm repeating it and fixing you know, it. We're two minutes in and I'm sleepy. And. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I need to learn how to edit. Um, but I went downstairs and I met up with a RA friend of mine. And I told them that I I was looking for the um, registration, which I, need, I needed to do today. And they told me that, first of all, it wasn't on this campus. The room I needed to go to, room 3101, was not on this campus, which is the Gotenyama campus. The other campus, the main campus where I'll be attending classes, is called Nokoyami. Oh, no. Nakamiya. The Nakamiya campus. We are on the Gotenyama campus with the global students, and then Nakamiya campus is where classes will be held. So I told her that I needed to go to that campus. She directed me to it. It's not terrible of a walk, but it's a walk enough that I'm going to need to wake up earlier than I'd care to admit, just to kind of get a head start so I don't show up late. But, um, but before, after she showed me on the map, she then actually got it to me toward the cafeteria, which I didn't know was open as of late. So I think we that up one either today or yesterday. And the cafeteria had a whole bunch of different options that I could go and choose from. It was kind of a neat experience. So it was a, a vending machine of sorts that you push the button, all of them in lit literature that I couldn't read. But uh, she showed, pointed out her favorite meal, which had been sold out. So I picked the, her second favorite as just as, as I was told to, because I can't read anything. Uh, and I pressed the button, put in my yen, about 300 yen, so about three bucks, 275, 250 for uh, a decent meal. It was a bowl full of rice and uh, beef with some kind of orange pinkish shavings on it. It looked kind of like a color, very color, oddly colored carrot. And it tasted more pickled, so it might have been a pickled carrot or a pickled onion. I could tell you, um, but 
but it was also served with miso soup. And there's a lot of spring onions in there. I can tell you that. There's a lot of spring onions in miso soup, but the the rice bowl was delicious. The, the miso soup was the same as the previous day. Um, it actually had some substance to it in comparison to American miso soup and some water. And that was my that was my lunch after it was that was quite a while after my breakfast. I woke up um, around I think for good around eight o'clock, and then I got up at eleven four hours. And yogurt doesn't sound that substantial. Let's see if I can grab the one that's not connected to anything. Little bit, little thing, and it's only filled up to like right here too. So it's not super crazy. It's more of a breakfast snack. So, but it worked out well. Uh, after my lunch, I went back up to my room and grabbed. I have a little pocket book that I carry, not like a pocket pocket book, like an actual book that fits in my pocket, and it's a Japanese phrase book and dictionary because I can't speak Japanese. Um, and it's got all sorts of fun little stuff in here. It's got there's sections on pronunciation, there's about Japanese things, there's the basics, there's practical things, there's social, there's safe travels, food, uh, English to Japanese, Japanese to English. There's even a section in here on relationships. Like it's it's actually quite hysterical. It's I can find the page quickly enough where I'm not. Yeah, feelings and relationships. Yeah, so going out. Yeah, there's a romance section. There's a, will you go out with me? I love you. Leave me alone, please. You can even reject someone in Japanese thanks to this book. So it's it's a lot of fun. No, thank you. Ie, koko desu. Please leave me alone. Hitori ni shite oti butchering the pronunciation. Hitori ni hitori ni shite ote kudasai. Oops, my little no. And this pocketbook comes with a secondary pocketbook, and it's little like key phrases and like quick access kind of thing. But I pick up I pick up this every day before I go out because one, it holds. The key to success in these little pages with my ineptitude at the language and i'm funny and i have money here in the it's reversed isn't it it's mirrored you guys can't read this but it says money in banking right there and that's where i keep my my cash i'm gonna get robbed now because everyone knows that rats <laughs> it's really fine It'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. I'll move it. I'll move it. No, no one know. No, 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 no one will know what happens. But I had to come back up here to grab that. I grabbed my wallet. I grabbed what else did I grab before I left? What I should have grabbed was grab my passport, but I didn't do that. And I didn't need it, but it would have been. I don't know if it would have been nice to have. I really don't. But in registering for. Um, resident registration during that process, it was actually super, super easy. My first, so, okay, first, I, wa I walked into campus and the, the front gates kind of just, they're covered by a lot of tall grass, which is super nice. But then as you exit this grass, there's a little guards shack and then the front gates and then boom, the entire campus is right in front of you. And it is absolutely gorgeous. There are maybe five, buildings that you can see right away. And I believe there's a total of 11. I could be very wrong. I have another map in here that I can check and I can I can clarify that later. Especially when classes actually start and I can explore a little more. But there's about five, five, seven buildings that you can see right off the bat. One, two, three, four, way back down yonder, and then five right up here. The building that I need to go to was behind these two buildings, building number three, which is international relationships and kind of cultural building and that is where you're going to register um super easy just kind of walked in it's a, the everything looks super nice uh relatively english friendly except for the fact that the room numbers are not displayed at least not in the ways that i could find them 
So I need to go to a, a second office. I need to, to talk to the first person that looked like they knew what they were doing and behind the death of desk to find the original room they need to go to. And all, um, all I needed to do was I walked in the room, they were like, all right, here, they sat me down and they gave me a, a form that had 11 things on it. It was like your name, date of birth, day you got to Japan, your current address, um, current, current address, birthday. And they also asked me to write down my name in Katakana. I don't know Katakana. Again, walking in here blind. So they had a, a sheet of paper that I have a picture of now. And I know no I now know how to write out my name in Katakana. Which is kinda cool. I could not write it out for you now off of memory. It's in a photo and photos on here don't show very well. And I know how to put photos on YouTube or like on in pictures. So I think I need to download an editing format. I don't know if this costs money. I don't get. I don't know. I'll find out. But that was it. Then the first lady took the form from me, put it in a small plastic sleeve, took my resident card that I got from the Japanese airport, and the residence card is what you get after you give the customs officer a lot of. So there's the immigration officer and the customs officer. Um, the customs officer was last. I lied. I'm, I was mistaken. The immigration officer was first. And I gave him a bunch of information, gave him my passport, told him that where I was here and uh, where I came from, my previous address, name, all the other stuff. And then he put together a small little plastic card for me that has all the information on it, nationality and everything, all in Japanese, should I need to present my Japanese ID. And that was automated within moments. That was like five minutes worth of my time at the airport. All I needed to do was answer a couple questions, hand over my passport. He took my student visa, um, and no, I'm sorry, he validated my student visa and took my certificate of eligibility and then gave me my card and the passport back. But that is now in the hands of Kanta Gaidai, and that little card will be given back to me tomorrow. So I had to just go through two other small little booths with people that could read a little more Japanese than I could and said, all right, are you this? Yes. Are you this? No. And they would check and circle all things on the, page, on the little page that I had. And I gave them my card and they said, okay, thank you. And I walked away. Uh, after that, I explored a little bit of campus, not too much. I walked basically a big circle around the big central building, which is absolutely enormous, which is, is deceivingly large and amazingly tall. But behind that, that, central tall building it's in front of it's behind a very large courtyard which is is gorgeous and a big old stone plaque that says Kansai Karai but behind that building is another it looks like a performing arts building and I could see to the right of that in the distance it would look like a um it looked like a baseball field it looked like another park from the outside and I had like a big like metal arch it looks so I'm guessing maybe uh a physical center, or, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a gymnasium, a stadium. But the performing arts building that was right behind it was it had a big amphitheater in the middle. Of it. it was a roofed amphitheater, and it had kind of like stone tiers. And there were a bunch of people over there congregating. I don't know if it was a, a meeting or if it was a an orientation for freshman students, which would have been pretty cool. I didn't get to, I didn't hear anything, or even if I did, I wouldn't understand it. So. so. But above that where they were, above the, the, the roof of the amphitheater was 7-Eleven. And I sat in there just kind of see what, what was around it because if I'm going to be at campus all day, probably might eat eventually. Or if I need snacks or a drink or whatever. There was school supplies there too. It was actually, it was a very conveniently placed convenience store. Um, there I got some snacks and I got a couple drinks and some chocolates actually that are absolutely to die for. I've made the bedroom, it's a lot of, it's very loud. I've made the conscious decision to brush my teeth so I don't have to eat anymore. But these are little chocolates that are absolutely amazing. They're just milk chocolate 
that's all they are. I put them in my fridge for the past time, but they are unreasonably good. But those are the first chocolate that I've had since I've been here, so it could be biased, but I don't know. Um, aside from my little shopping trip, I, which I, I really, I, I'm not going to go shopping anymore. I really should not go shopping anymore because it's getting out of hand. But I, without, within reasonable certainty, I can say that I have most everything that I need for now. So I don't think I need to go shopping anytime soon. Uh, I walked back. I put away my things. And I came back downstairs. And I walked around outside of um, the global co- of UE. I walked out around the outside of the UE, UE comments. And just kind of took it all in. It's it's still kind of not unnerving or unsettling, but it's hard to believe that I'm still actually here. It's just an odd thought. Just like, yeah, I wanted to go to Japan and now I'm here. And it felt like not so long ago, this process was started and I even learned in Eau Claire that I could do this. So it feels strange to have done it and having say that I have done it and hopefully being able to uh, help someone along the way to come do this because this is a lot of fun and it's only been four days. I can only imagine what will happen when classes start. But, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, but I know for a fact that I'm going to be the starstruck tourist for way too long. It's just everything here is it's so different and it's just fascinating the way that everything functions here the the city that overlooks that the city that the campus overlooks you can see it moving still and like you can see lights coming on and off you can see bikes and cars running through and it's just a very different way of life and it really is fascinating after my little my little wander moment um i found uh, two more RA friends of mine, and they introduced me to a third. And then they spent, uh, I showed them the picture. I, she, she asked for the picture that I took of the, overlooking the city. That's how I was kind of inducted into that conversation, which didn't last long because they started talking in Japanese. But it was interesting to hear them all talk in rapid fire, and I could pick out a couple words that recognized, at least a couple sounds that I recognized as articles or like words that you put in between words to dictate timing and past and future tense and like the and the the kind of articles so i'm getting better at recognizing stuff which isn't saying much because i haven't had a class but it'll be fine and after one of them joined and then two of them left the conversation and after that it was just me and two of them, and they started teaching me a little bit of Japanese, which is fun. I've already forgotten it, but I'm sure once I will hear it again, I can I can tell you what it means. But it was like a basuwa nihonji. Basuwa no, that's ni yeah. Niji. Basuwa nihinjon kokore kokure kokore. Kunai. And that's when will the bus be here? Something along those lines, I'm sure I butchered it, but Basuwa Basuwa Nyonji Kokune Kokune Kunai Kokudes I've I've forgotten it. I'm gonna be in trouble, but uh, I want to look for a bento box. Obento box, which is Japanese for packed lunch. So if you say Obento lunch, it's a packed lunch lunch. Uh, turns out they had sold out. So I wound up coming back here, eating some of my previously purchased packed ramen. I actually believe I have a new favorite. It's, it's this. I don't know if anyone recognizes this. But a little duck here. And it was... I believe what it is was duck sauce because it was red. It wasn't sweet and sour sauce like I, was, I, I thought it was going to be because it was bright, bright red. But it was actually quite tasty. So I might have to go find that again.
But yeah, that's kind of been it. I ate dinner. Uh, I wasn't here because I had to, because I'm a lot, a lot, not allowed to eat dinner in the comments, allegedly, which I've already done. So, um, ate dinner in here, showered, and yeah, that's kind of been my day. It's been very, very, it was more relaxing yesterday. I didn't do a whole lot. That's really about it. I used my new chopsticks. I'm gonna need to do laundry tomorrow. I tried some Japanese gum that I found at 7 Eleven, which wasn't bad. Um, yeah. I think that'll do it. That's it. I'm gonna do more tomorrow. My. What is, what is the schedule tomorrow? Wednesday. My academic and immigration orientation. Is scheduled for tomorrow so there is that I'm not I scheduled like 9 30 so I'm gonna have to go to bed pretty early today in comparison to midnight um, but yes that has been my day that has been fruits of my efforts and So that'll do it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for making it this far with me. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you for everyone. Just kind of be a part of this, part of this with me. I am going to say that every time because it's really just to have the idea of people like somewhat being entertained by this stuff is really cool. And I've always kind of wanted to be a YouTuber. So it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, hello everyone. Hi Chica, hi. Lulu Bell, mother, father, Tashi, Jamie. Uh, hi, I'm doing good. It's working well so far. And uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Adiós.